process we have seen the preparation of nutrient broth and the nutrient agar and the nutrient broth they share almost the same composition the main difference between them it is that the nutrient agar it contains a solidifying agent that is agar powder and that agar powder it has to be added into that nutrient broth that we make uh, the medium nutrient agar and nutrient uh, that agar powder it is used as a solidifying agent it is one of the best agar it is one of the best solidifying agent which is used for making the nutrient agar and nutrient broth it lacks the solidifying agent it is devoid of the agar powder and it is not containing any agar powder so it is the liquid medium so nutrient agar and nutrient broth they share almost the same composition and now we are going to see the method of preparation of nutrient agar so so this nutrient agar it is also consisting of the peptone the beef extract or yeast extract sodium chloride and added with agar powder so the peptone it is one of the most important source of the nitrogen it is the important source of the organic nitrogen it is the principal source of the organic nitrogen uh, for the growth of the bacteria then because uh, as i told that the culture medium should contain all the carbon sources nitrogen sources elemental requirements and that should fulfill fulfill the requirements of that bacteria so peptone it is the principal source of organic nitrogen for the growth of bacteria so peptone 0.5% it is added into the medium then beef extract beef extract or yeast extract we can add so 0.3% of beef extract it is added and this beef extract it is an aqueous extract of beef tissue it contains the water soluble substances of the animal tissue that include carbohydrates organic nitrogen compounds water soluble vitamins and the mineral salts and all these ingredients they will stimulate the bacterial growth so beef extract it is used as the source of organic nitrogen carbon and uh, vitamins when we use the yeast extract it is the excellent source, source of the vitamins and that is found to be the rich source of all these uh, vitamins and that stimulate the growth of bacteria then another uh, ingredient it is that is nacl sodium chloride so the sodium chloride it is also added into the medium so 0.5% of the nacl it is added to make the nutrient agar and one of the most important requirement it is distilled water so we have taken the distilled water into measuring cylinder so this is the measuring cylinder and uh, we have added distilled water into this measuring cylinder because we know that water is absolutely necessary for the existence of all the living cell it is essential for the growth of microorganism for the growth of bacteria and this uh, and, uh, nutrients all the nutrients they will penetrate they will be absorbed by the cell through this water so the water it is the medium through which all the nutrients they will be penetrated into the cell tap water we can't use tap water because tap water it show variation in composition and so that uniform culture media cannot be prepared the calcium and magnesium which is present in the tap water it reacts with the phosphates which are present in the peptone beef extract and other ingredients of the culture media to give insoluble phosphates and the insoluble phosphates they are formed during sterilization so distilled water should be used for the preparation of culture medium and distilled water it is of definite composition so it should be preferably used in the uh, preference to that of the tap water for the preparation of the culture medium and then we have to adjust the ph of the medium so one by one we'll add all the ingredients and we'll make the nutrient agar so first of all uh, we have weighed accurately all the ingredients by the digital balance and then we have to suspend all the ingredients one by one into the uh, uh, that proper amount of the distilled water 
So first of all, we'll add 100 ml of the distilled water into the conical flask. So we'll take 100 ml of distilled water, which is taken into measuring cylinder. Then we'll take pepton. So pepton, as I told, we have to take 0.5% of the pepton. So 5 gram it is recommended for 1000 ml of the distilled water and for 100 ml of distilled water we have to weigh 0.5 gram and we added 0.5 gram of the pepton into the distilled water in conical flask then we have to mix it with glass rod. Uh, so you have to mix it with the glass rod. Then we have to take the beef extract. So 0.3% beef extract should be used for 1 liter. 3 gram is recommended. So for 100 ml, we'll take 0.3 gram of the beef extract or yeast extract, which is the rich source of vitamins, which is the source of organic nitrogens, and that is also the source of mineral salts, and that will stimulate the growth of bacteria. Then we'll take 0.5% NaCl for 1000 ml 5 gram is recommended for 100 ml we will take 0.5 gram so we will dispense into the conical flask so we have dispensed it then we have to stir it we have to mix it properly with the glass rod so we will mix with the glass rod properly now we will take agar we will take the agar powder and agar powder we have to weigh 1.5 to 2% <coughs> so agar it is used as the best solidifying agent it is used to make the medium solid and that agar it is extracted from the marine algae that is gelidium and agar it is possessing the best properties that's why it is the best solidifying agent it melts at 100 degrees Celsius up to 100 degrees Celsius and it sets into gel at 40 to 45 degrees Celsius and one of the most importantly agar it is not attacked by any bacteria and that's why agar it is one of the best solidifying agent and agar still now it is used in the microbiology laboratory for the preparation of various solid medium because initially uh, Robert Koch they have used gelatin as the solid medium as the solidifying agent but that was found to be unsatisfactory because it was melting at the temperature of incubation at which the microorganisms they were incubated and again the gelatin it was hydrolyzed by many bacteria so that was found to be not satisfactory and agar it is not attacked by many bacteria so it is the best solidifying agent so we have added agar so Agar it is added into the conical flask, then mix it properly with the glass rod. So then we have to place this onto the hot plate. So we have to place the nutrient agar onto the hot plate and that is placed onto the hot plate for heating so while heating we have to stir it so so as to dissolve all the ingredients so while heating we have to stir it so all the ingredients they will be dissolved into the medium and then we have to allow it to heat or boil for some time then all the ingredients will be dissolved we can see the conical flask it is labeled with the nutrient agar as a nutrient agar the date it is also mentioned on the conical flask you can mention your class name also so that labeling it is also very essential so the nutrient agar medium it is boiled it is heated for a few minutes and now all the ingredients they are dissolved completely and uh, we can see that it is also labeled then we have to plug it with the cotton we can take it we have to plug it with cotton 
so that only filtered air it will be entered and as we know that cotton plug it is having the fibers so all the dust particle microorganism they will be adhered and the, through the pores of the cotton the sterile air it will be entered then we have to wrap with the aluminum foil if it is not available we can use the paper so it should be wrapped with the aluminum foil or paper so we are friends we have prepared the nutrient agar we have also prepared the nutrient broth and we have seen that that the composition of the nutrient broth and nutrient agar it is same only the nutrient broth that is the liquid medium that is lacking the agar powder which is the solidifying agent and into the nutrient agar we have added agar as, as the solidifying agent and we have prepared the nutrient agar now we have to sterilize it by autoclaving we can keep it into the autoclave at 121 degrees celsius at uh, 15 lbs pressure for 15 minutes and after that then we can pour that nutrient agar into the petri plates and then we can uh, make the petri plates or we can uh, pour that nutrient agar into the test tube we can make the nutrient agar slants and this nutrient agar it is found to be very useful so what are the uses of the nutrient agar so nutrient agar it is the excellent general purpose medium it is used for the isolation and cultivation of the microorganism it is used for the maintenance of the microorganisms and it is also used for the enumeration of bacteria or the microorganism present in the food sample present in the water sample present in the dairy product into the sewage and in this way we can uh, use that culture medium that is the nutrient agar medium and that is found to be one of the most important medium on which a variety of different non-fastidious microorganisms they can be grown.